Hi, welcome to our PLA Door Awards Ceremony Special. The famous climbers and the jury members are about to arrive. There's free food, free booze. We're going to talk to as many famous people as we can and bring you all the results. The closing ceremony gives Cormier the chance to show off its side of Mont Blanc to the PLA Door nominees. And you will also see the crowning of all the winners, including the Lifetime Achievement Award given to John Ross Kelly. John, how are you feeling about tonight? Excited? Oh, very excited, very humbled, because uh, I mean, I'm going to eventually be in the same breath with Walter Bonatti and Reinhold Mesner and Doug Scott and, and the others, and it's, uh, it's fascinating. Rafa, how are you feeling about tonight? I'm honestly trying very hard to be zen. It doesn't mean much what a few people say, but I hate to admit it, it does matter. <laughs> I've been very resolute in the fact that I don't really care if I win. I don't really care about competition and alpinism. But, you know, I'm, I'm kind of finding myself being a little bit excited. Is this a bit of an Anchorman moment? Do you have a jazz flute hidden? My jazz flute is actually in my backpack across the way, not in my jacket. Well, I hope we see it. Best of luck. <laughs> Thank you. Christian, uh, you're the organizer of the PLA Door. How's it, how's it been? I think it's been an excellent year, uh, 2013. Even though there's always uh, questions, you know, what is more difficult, what is more long. And really, how are you feeling about tonight? No, it's, it's really important to, to have this meet. It's a good place just to talk together, see all these people. I think it's, it's, it's really nice. And the food's been excellent. Uh, we are just in Italy now, right? so we, we can't complain about food <laughs> and about the drinks. Just enjoy it and get as much as you can. <laughs> Well, everyone's eaten and drunk, now it's time to head inside and find out who's won the big prize. The audience took their seats for what was to be a magical evening, and after the presentation of The Ascent and John Roskelly's Lifetime Achievement Award, it was time for the main event. You want to take the honour of saying the names? I, I was told that was your job. Oh, okay. <laughs> Piolet d'Or 2014, Piolet d'Or 2014 goes to Rafael Slavinsky at Ian Wellstead for La Parete Nordest of the Capadue, Northwest of the K6. But wait, surprises. There's one more climb. Piole d'Or 2014 also goes to Yuli Steck for La Ascensione in Solitaria della Parete Sud della Natura. Our PLA Door 2014. Raphael, Ian, congratulations. How does it feel? Uh, I've got to say I'm very surprised. It feels unreal, and I kind of wish that it didn't matter as much to me as it does. These things look pretty heavy. Uh, I came with quite a bit of baggage. I'm hoping I can fit it in. The fact that we're standing here holding these plaques to me doesn't, doesn't change the experience too much. Um, just coming and meeting all these incredible people and partaking in the culture of uh, alpine climbing here in the Alps is quite an experience. Uli, congratulations. The second one of these you've got, how does this one feel? You know, actually the first one Simon has, so I'll have one for myself as well. <laughs> I look on all these climbs and I, I should I mean, all of these climbs should be awarded for myself. And it was a strong feel this year. Yeah, it's crazy. Like this year, so many things got done. It's, it's crazy, you know. Well, big well done. And uh, yeah, I'm glad you've got your own trophy now. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy. It's so psyched. Well, what a fantastic night. Massive congratulations to Uli, Raphael and Ian. Amazing achievement. We'll see you tomorrow. I like to see motivation of the climbers, that they uh, still to reach without, um, without any doubt.